You're about to take the best videos and photos of your life with your smartphone. For the past few years, Samsung have spoken a lot about something called nitography. It's a feature set that optimizes the camera array to take photographs in really challenging low light conditions. This is the holy grail of cinematography and photography. This year, they've done it again with the S24 range. It's not just a gimmicky word. Nitography is the culmination of many years of work that Samsung have put behind their camera array, hardware and software to take photographs and videos in some of the most challenging environments that only the most experienced photographers and video Photographers can do and it usually takes really expensive gear to pull it off now you can do it with your smartphone to introduce you to the potential of nitography here are a couple of ways to fully take advantage of your device and of course blow your friends and family out of the water and for the photo nerds out there I'm gonna be dropping the camera specs at the end of this video so stay tuned for that long exposure photography of those really iconic photos that you see generally with light trails of cars behind them and also water when it looks you know, all buttery smooth and, 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 and not fluffy. You don't get fluffy water. What is it? It's like velvet water, velvet water. That could be a brand that should think about making that. What if I told you that Samsung's Galaxy AI can help you make those photos relatively instantly? Now you could use the expert raw mode and pro photo mode if you want to. And that gives you a lot of granular tools to be able to do that, but you have to understand how cameras work. So photographers can use that and you can play around with that, but sometimes you just want it to happen. So choose a cool spot, typically like on a freeway in with low light where you see cars driving past. This is generally the best way to do that. The faster the cars are going, the better. It also looks really cool in a low light environment. Make sure that you activate the motion photo setting in the top of the screen uh, on your camera settings. This is gonna take a photograph, but it's gonna include a little bit of before the photograph as well, so that it's like a very short video. Then just snap your photo. In the gallery, you can tap the eye at the bottom of the screen. It's like the information logo. And then you'll see a whole bunch of information about the photograph, but AI will then add a bunch of things that you can do to it based on what it recognizes in the image. And because it was a motion photo in low light, it's going to have something called long exposure. If you tap that, almost instantly you're going to be treated to a beautiful motion photo and you can save that as a copy in your gallery and edit in another app if you'd like, but they look absolutely stunning. It's such a cool way to impress your friends and also just to like, if you want a really cool profile picture or something, it's just really, really cool. Play around with these. You can get some really awesome shots. And if you are a little bit more confident, jump into the pro mode because you'll be able to do a lot of that stuff there as well and increase your, uh, your shutter speed so that it's just, you know, you lower your ISO, increase your shutter speed and you can get those trails. But again, a lot of people that takes a little bit of learning and trial and error, but you might want to just do that tonight when you're like with the night on the town. Samsung's really famous for it, the moonshot, right? Like everyone talks about how you can get a zoom in on the moon with that 100 times zoom. It's really impressive, but not many people talk about the really exciting astrophotography features. In expert raw mode in your camera, make sure that you click on the thing that looks like a constellation. Here, it's like your tools that you're going to need to take a beautiful photo of the stars. Again, something that's really hard to do, but Galaxy AI will be able to help you out. The first thing you're gonna see is a star guide. Now the star guide shows you where the different constellations are in the sky, if maybe it's overcast or during the day and you wanna plan your shoot. And maybe you wanna get like a really specific, you know, constellation, Gemini or, or Virgo or whatever. If you're looking at the stars, like in the raw night sky, this is a cool tool because you can see like what is above you. But then once you've got your phone on a tripod, you can then take a photograph for a set duration that you can set. Starts at four minutes and onwards. The results are absolutely spectacular. The Galaxy AI then will take the photograph and then perfectly balance the exposure of the sky for you. That takes a lot of trial and error. And usually if you're new to star photography or astrophotography, you kind of have to play around for a few nights to get a really good photo because it takes a long time to do this. And also in conditions that typically aren't the best star conditions, you'll still get like a really good photograph. So if you're going camping this year and you're going to be out in the stars or you're just going to be, you just want to have a really cool shot of, of space, do it. 
The Galaxy AI tool sets that everybody's talking about that you've probably seen in a bunch of the marketing material and that all the content creators are speaking about on YouTube are actually available in low light photos and they work really well. One of my favorite ones is if you hold down your finger on a video and you can take low light videos as well because the sensor size is so big, the Galaxy AI will then add extra frames between the, the frames that you've shot, so the before and after frame, and adding those extra frames slows down the footage. It's called interpolation and the AI is like basically painting frames that don't exist and you get these really buttery smooth slow-mo shots regardless of the frame rate that you shot them in which is awesome because sometimes you don't really have time to change your settings you just need to whip out your camera and film and to get that is so cool and for it to work in low light is super special because taking slow-mo in low light is actually very challenging so I highly recommend trying this out or filming yourself with your friends having a drink or whatever the case is and then putting that in slow-mo you can also add or remove objects with Galaxy A AI, you know, if you don't want people in the shot and it will paint in the background for you. All those amazing features that you've seen, but also with your low light images. On your nights out, there's often tons of photographs of food and drinks and stuff that's on the table. And the lighting is definitely not ideal. You'll often have shadows of your hand and your phone over your meal or over your drink, and it actually looks terrible. But using Galaxy AI, you can remove those shadows instantly just with the press of the button. Make sure that you click the I button. And and the, the AI will then identify what needs to be done in that shot based on what it sees. So the first thing is obviously the shadows that I mentioned, but the second thing is also reflections. So for instance, if you're taking a photograph of a bunch of friends through some glass and you're in shot, but you don't wanna be in shot because your reflection is distracting, you can remove that instantly. Those are problems that we see in a lot of photography that you have during the day, but they are especially prevalent at night. I can't talk about the S24, the S24 Ultra without speaking about Expert Raw. If you're a professional photographer or somebody who understands how a camera works, Expert Raw is a very exciting feature in the camera settings. Basically, you've got full granular control of your camera like you would in Pro Mode, but also you can take raw photos. Raw photos, for those of you who don't know, are really big files, but they are the raw photograph that you can take with lots of information in the highlights and lots of information in the shadows, which means that you can tweak that photo without getting a lot of noise in it and just do things to that photograph that you can't do with compressed JPEG that you would normally take with a smartphone. Usually those compressed photos are good or good enough, but maybe you want to do something that's a little bit more exciting. Expert Raw is actually one of those features that really shows off what that low light sensor is capable of doing because what you can do with the shadows, if you've got your settings correct, is, is amazing. If you've got an app like uh, Lightroom Mobile, it's completely free. Lightroom's a professional photo photographic app, you know, that you, if you pay a wedding photographer or whatever, they use this app in their delivery to you, but you can use it on your phone with all all the same desktop settings to take that raw file and pull up the shadows uh, if it's a dark environment or drop the highlights if you've overexposed it and just tweak it in a granular way to, without having all that noise and uh, and like information loss. It really does look remarkably impressive. And it really goes to show what exciting devices the S24s are because having access to your raw sensor like that is a lot of confidence that they've got really great hardware. And it's a really great way to play around with a professional camera in, in, in essence, if, if you can't afford a mirrorless camera or a DSLR before you buy it and understand how all the different features work. So it lets you play around with the shutter speed, uh, which is the amount of time that the shutter is open for, the duration. It lets you play with the aperture, which is like the, the amount of light that's being let into the sensor. And it also lets you play around with the ISO, which allows you to boost the light from on a software level based on the information that's on the sensor. It's exactly how you'd work with a professional camera, but obviously a fraction of the price and with the device that's in your pocket. And if you get the results, the results look astounding. Now for you camera nerds out there, I'm gonna run through some of the camera specs with you. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the primary camera has a whopping 200 megapixel sensor with a 24 millimeter equivalent F1.7 aperture lens. It's got autofocus and it's got optical image stabilization. The ultra wide camera has a 12 megapixel sensor with a 13 millimeter equivalent F2.2 aperture lens and autofocus. And there are 
two telephoto lenses, one with a 10 megapixel sensor with a 67 millimeter equivalent, f2.4 aperture lens, optical image stabilization and autofocus. And the other one is a 50 megapixel sensor with a 111 millimeter equivalent, f3.4 aperture lens, optical image stabilization, and of course, autofocus. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is more than just a smartphone. It's the most capable smartphone camera on the market at the moment. <laughs> and what's wild is that it's designed for people that are new to cameras, but also for people that take their photography and videography very seriously. And no matter what your skill level is when it comes to taking photographs or really good looking videos, now's your chance to take some really impressive content for social media and to print on your walls because it's that good. All regardless of the low light photographic conditions, all thanks to Nightography. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to pick up an S24 Ultra for yourself, make sure that you check out the link in the description and I'll see you in another video. Cheers.